officers have read their rights. They cooperated. They gave it statements. I understand that this investigation will be under a microscope. Today is just as hard as Thursday for this family. They're grieving. And today they had to find out that Keevan lost his life at the hands of another. 22-year-old Keevan Robinson died last week after Jefferson Parish deputies arrested him, and now the coroner is ruling his death a homicide. Good evening. The coroner says Robinson showed, quote, significant traumatic injuries to the neck, and that's why his death is ruled a homicide. Also new tonight, Eyewitness News has obtained new video moments before Robinson was arrested as he stopped at a convenience store nearby, then sped off in his car. We have live team coverage with Paul Murphy focusing on reaction. But first, we begin with Danny Monteverdi, who's covering the new findings. Danny? Good evening, Tom. That autopsy was done on Saturday. Now, the family of Keevan Robinson met with the coroner and Jefferson Parish Sheriff this morning to get the results. There are still questions, though, exactly about exactly how Robinson died and the role four undercover officers played. Family of 22-year-old Keevan Robinson left the JPSO's headquarters Monday morning in tears after learning how the man suspected in an undercover drug investigation died last week. Our initial autopsy findings, and I'm going to be brief, okay, reveal uh, significant traumatic injuries to the neck. Jefferson Parish Coroner Jerry Satanovich says that means someone squeezed Robinson's neck. Satanovich says that his office has now ruled the death a homicide, but that classification is a medical one, he notes, not one that will automatically lead to criminal charges. Jefferson Parish Sheriff Joe Lapinto says a sprawling investigation has been opened against the four officers who chased Robinson and fought with him during a brief struggle Thursday in Old Jefferson. You have this office, you'll have the state police, you'll have the FBI, Civil Rights Task Force, which I also notified on Saturday and spoke with him yesterday also. They'll look into this matter, take all the statements, review the statements, review the evidence from the final autopsy report. Lapinto didn't identify the four undercover officers, but he says they're not on the streets right now. But under these circumstances, we believe it's appropriate uh, for them to be on administrative duty until the conclusion of the investigation is complete. Lapinto acknowledges there was a fight between the officers and Robinson. He says training doesn't teach officers to be aggressive, but they are trained to protect themselves. From a policy standpoint, we don't train somebody to hit someone with a brick. But if you're fighting for your life and the brick's there, you hit someone with a brick. I mean, there's no doubt they use force. It's whether that force was excessive. I mean, that's what we're trying to come to a conclusion of. Now, again, these officers have been reassigned. None of them have been arrested or been charged. That will be um, dependent upon the outcome of this investigation. At 6 o'clock, we'll hear a little bit more from Jefferson Parish Coroner Dr. Jerry Satanovich about the autopsy and his investigation. But for now, reporting live at the Jefferson Parish headquarters in Harvey, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.